Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, it's Chetan here from Double Cube, and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Today we're going to be learning to create something in Illustrator, uh, which is going to be a glowy, colorful icon. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty simple to do, not quite complicated, but you know, for those of you who are beginners or want to, you know, you know, want to learn something new, uh, then this is a tutorial for you guys. Uh, so as you can see on the screen, that's the thumbnail, that's what we want to be creating. So uh, let's get started. Or here I'm an illustrator in a blank document, 1000 by 1000 pixels for the height and width. The color more set to RGB and uh, we are ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get myself a polygon tool. I'm going to click and I'm going to choose the size, just three and the radius. We can set it to probably whatever we want and we can scale it up later again. So I'm going to go and select the move tool and just scale it up. And I'm going to move it horizontally and vertically in the axis so it centers it fits to the document and if I come over here I can actually choose align to artboard which is going to help me do that or else if you have align to uh, selection it's not going to happen all right so once we have that I'm going to select this and I'm going to go to object path and choose an offset path and I'm going to give the offset probably a negative uh, 120 130 I don't know I think 120 looks good and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think just this negative 100 yeah and I'll uh, click OK and I'm going to select both of this come here to the Pathfinder if you don't have the Pathfinder you can go to window and choose Pathfinder and I'm going to click on this button which says uh, negative minus front let me just dock this in alright so now we have this hole in the center now if you're using Adobe Illustrator CC um, when you click on the anchor points you're going to see these circles and what I want to do is I'm going to press Ctrl A to select all these circles you want to come here to the direct selection tool by pressing a on your keyboard and just hold on the circle and you know just you know move them in to your liking uh, probably like so maybe we can bring this a little bit more closer like so uh, and for this one we can select these individually so hold down shift and select these points individually and then we can probably move this out a little bit more yeah, something like this. This is looking really good. I like it. Uh, yeah, we can just, you know, fine tune these a little bit more if you want. Yeah. Not All right, we have something that looks like this. It's pretty cool and, you know, pretty nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, you know, cut these up into, you know, three pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the pen tool by pressing P on my keyboard and I'm going to come over here and, you know, make sure you have your smart guides on. So Windows Smart Guides. Oh, I think I closed that off. Smart guys, yeah. And uh, we can click over here and uh, click here. And then go ahead and make a nice curve like so. And then I'm going to come over here and, you know, just close this up. Uh, make sure we set this to a different color so we can actually see it. Something. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this actually. So just hold on Alt and just drag it up. So when you hold on Alt, you can see these two uh, cursors. So that's duplicating it and I'm going to select this one. Uh, I'm going to rotate it. Uh, let's say let's go to transform, rotate, rotate, rotate. And we're going to give it a rotation of one, uh, I think 120 degrees. So let's just see. Um, yeah, I click on OK. And uh, so basically what it did is it rotated it from like so to so. And I'm going to move this up over here and bring this one over here and make a copy of this again by holding on Alt and right click, go to transform, rotate. Uh, we're going to rotate the 120 degrees again and I'm going to place this one over here. And now what we're going to do is going to select all of this and we're going to come over here and we're going to choose each one of these options, which is divide or trim. I think I'm going to go with the divide. Uh, and let's right click and choose ungroup. Uh, okay, so we want to control Z that. All right, let's select all of this. And I think we want to choose trim. Like click ungroup. Now nah, trim is not going to do the trick as well. So we want to control Z that again. I think let's just go with the divide. Okay, click on divide and right click and choose ungroup. And we can delete these unnecessary parts. Delete and we have something that you know kind of looks like this now the objective of this is to Distribute it into three different parts So I'm going to select this one and this one hold down shift come here and I'm going to click on this which says unite 
and I'm gonna hold these two and it says unite and it's like these two as well and click on this says unite and now we have three different pieces let me just give different color shades of gray so we can differentiate it uh, double click on this and uh, you know, like this and we have something that looks like this Alright, so now what we can do is add on color. So let's select the first one over here and I'm going to double click on this gradient tool which is going to give me this gradient. I'm going to go ahead and just draw, draw out a gradient like so. And you, know, you need to make sure you click here which is the gradient tool. And I'm going to get a couple of options over here. So let's just change the color. So I'm going to go for a green set. So um, let's see, double click. And I'm going to choose a bright green. So bright green. And for this one, uh, you know, almost the same thing, but probably a darker green. Not sure uh, what, what kind of effect we're kind of we're trying to achieve. So let's double click on this. Uh, let's come over here and you know choose a darker green. Not quite sure if that does the trick either way. So let's make it a little bit more darker. So like olive green. Yeah, that looks better. And I'm gonna go ahead and just move this up like so. Uh, we can move these ones closer as well yeah, and we can move this one as well over here so you know we get some nice blending over here which is which is nice which isn't cool right there you go that's that's looking good maybe a little bit more towards the inside yeah this is looking great all right so next thing to do is going to select this one press okay and double click on the gradient tool again and they're going to choose a different set of colors so i'm going to go for a red to an orange so i'm going to click on this uh, go for a bright red uh, like so and over here I'm gonna go for an orange so do we have a good color orange let's just get our own orange yellow uh, orange yeah orange is looking good but the thing we need to do now is uh, click on the gradient tool and we kind of want to rotate it so let's draw so just draw something like that so that's looking good uh, we can bring this closer actually to be honest and uh, bring this one closer as well um let's bring the reds uh yeah something like this this is looking good uh so the last one we want to we want to go for a blue color so let's click on this and uh, go to the gradient tool again this time i'm going to choose a blue color so for this one i'm going to go choose a light blue color uh light blue yep this is pretty much a nice light blue color all right and uh for oh we want a darker one for this my bad so let's choose a dark blue color all right and uh, maybe not so dark let's see uh like that dark and for this one we want to choose a super bright blue color does it look good so we're gonna have to draw this gradient again so let's just come over here and draw this gradient uh, okay so i'm gonna go make this a little bit more darker so let's just go and uh yeah i think this is pretty dark enough let's just get the gradient let's just move this in closer now nah, i think i'm gonna go with like a super dark yeah that's what i'm talking about something like that uh we can go ahead and increase this all right so we have something that you know kind of looks like this right now so once i have this what i'm going to do is i'm going to select one of this i'm going to effect uh stylize and choose an inner glow now let's click on preview so we have so we can see what's actually happening i'm going to set the color to pure white and the blending mode of this to overlay and let's go ahead and set the opacity to a hundred percent and uh, we can go ahead and probably set the blur to 30. Let's see how that looks. I'll click on preview. All right. Uh, so maybe 30 is too strong. So we can reduce that down to 20. Probably set that to 10 again. And then click on OK. So now I click on we have something that looks like this. Let's repeat the same process for the other one. Let's go to effect. Uh, stylize and choose uh the inner glow uh the same settings click on preview click on okay so the same thing here effect uh effects stylize inner glow uh sorry not outer glow effects stylize 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 stylize, stylize uh inner glow same settings come preview so we have something that you know looks like this uh, it's looking really good at the moment right now really happy with the finished product 
And so once we have this, we can select all of this, go to object and choose expand appearance. Uh, uh, I actually already did that. So you guys want to do expand appearance. And once you do that, we can go ahead and select everything again. We're going to go to object, sorry, effect, stylize, and choose an other inner glow. So this time, let's click on preview. Uh, this time, we want to set the blur to say something like 20. So, you know, it travels across a little bit more. Uh, maybe the opacity, we can set that down to 75. It need not be so harsh. Uh, let's try a different color mode. Like, let's try color dodge. Let's see how that looks. Uh, Okay, I don't think color dodge is look, gonna look good. It's probably can go for the uh, overlay, yeah. And I click on OK, and then we have something that looks more glowy, cooly. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. It's a very simple tutorial on creating this nice glow effect in Illustrator. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to mention that in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. You guys can obviously follow me on my social media links on Twitter, Instagram, and drop me an email as well if you want to. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.